god of headline grabbing interviews is back on Comedy Central. Charlamagne known for being honest. Last week, comedians Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish began trending. It's because a comedy sketch they made for Funny or Die almost 10 years ago has resurfaced that shows Aries pretending to be a pedophile. Uh, they even used an actual minor in the video. So what was apparently meant to be a PSA on pedophilia should have been DOA as soon as they read the damn script. All right, predictably, the internet was measured in its criticism with people calling the comedians pedophiles who should be canceled, put in jail, put under the jail, and worse. Personally, I think it's ridiculous to paint them as pedophiles, okay? They just made a very unfunny video. Is that an unforgivable sin? Uh, panel, I'm gonna go down the line and I want you to tell me if we should f them or forgive them and afterwards, I'll tell you if you're right or not. <laughs> Ashley, I'm starting with you. Okay. F them or forgive them. I might have to cover this case, so I have to kind of like waffle here. In this particular case, I actually read really deep down in the details and the facts are very, very uncomfortable. It's, it's scary stuff, you know, you can't, you can't mess around when you're talking about little kids. Uh, Jordan, it's on you. Forgive him. You know, my agent said, don't do the show. And then I was like, oh, you no, said, we'll f him. F him. F him. <laughs> we'll play a game. It's a pedophile's great. How fun. How fun. This story is horrifying, and I get, it's confusing with it being a comedy sketch, and I'd like to approach it with grace and understand that they came from good intentions. But the accusations are scary. It looks, it looks damning. Uh, and I, it's, it's too damning for me to weigh in on. I think that's what a court needs. You know, video is evidence, and if there's even something that's being acted out without uh, guardians and with little children that is inappropriate, that is abuse. Ashley, just say f them. I mean, gosh. I, I know. Be <laughs> serious. Like, you just... <laughs> Lene, it's your turn. Uh, f them or forgive me. <clears throat> give me your reasons. <laughs> well, I run my own show, so it's f them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> at first. It's them at first because they hurt someone. Regardless of their intention, someone was hurt. someone got hurt and they were children. And so we have to allow those people to be held accountable, allow those people to express accountability, and then there can be room for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with not allowing anyone to redeem themselves. What we can't do is lead with forgiveness because then we overshadow someone. I feel like the opposite side of the opposite side of, of cancel culture comes this era of victim blaming, and then we don't hold anyone. We, we, we heroify people. We act like they can't do any wrong, and we allow them to continue in the faces of people that were abused, people that were traumatized, and then we allow those type of behaviors to continue without redress. So it's f them at first, and then we can forgive them after. Man. That, 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 can I have that answer? That's the answer I want. <laughs> that was it. Being this, this is the only democracy in late night, I'm gonna ask the audience, uh, if you both can make some noise. See? All right. If you both forgive them, make some noise. The crowd and the panel is spoken, and I think you're both wrong, okay? <laughs> All right. I say forgive them. I understand that this sketch is in such bad taste, you, you would think it was seasoned by white people, okay? But we have to stop equating bad art and bad commentary to actual criminal behavior. And at some point, we're gonna have to have a discussion about old content because I keep telling y'all over and over, the whole industry is complicit, okay? This whole entertainment industry really just started to change over the past four or five years. Anybody who says otherwise is a damn liar and a hypocrite. And don't wait until it's your fade or somebody you like to say something about it because I promise you, this whole business is a circular firing squad. All right? Mm. Mm. Okay? 